The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. Who would have thought that there's growth and income in furniture and hearth products of all things? Well, that's what our growth and income strategist Todd Bunton found when he turned on his radar this week. He's here to fill us in on some of the details for a company called HNI Corporation. Yeah. And you reminded me that you talked about this about a year ago. Yeah, yeah, April of 2014, actually. And, and the company, the, the story's still strong there. Um, like you said, they, they make office furniture. They also make hearth products, wood and gas burning fireplaces. Right. Office furniture is about 80% of their total revenue. The, uh, the fireplace is about 20%. Okay. But both segments have been seeing solid organic growth. And that was on display in the second quarter. The company delivered solid top line growth. Mm -hmm. um, and also uh, that was driven by higher pricing and higher volumes. And that led to higher profit margins. So the company saw booming profit margins, especially in the office furniture segment. And if you think about why, it, it's, you know, corporations are at all time record profits. Um, business confidence is improving, so they're starting to spend money on, on office furniture. It would seem and to track that way, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, so that's been very solid for them. And the company also, like I said, delivered solid profit margin expansion. They leveraged their fixed expenses, so saw a huge increase in, in, in earnings per share in the quarter. Mm -hmm. And that prompted analysts to revise their estimates significantly higher for 2015, sent it to a Zach's rank of two, which is a buy rating. Now, as you can see, I brought with me the price and consensus chart. This is the consensus earnings estimates. And you can see a nice steady stair-step increase in consensus estimates for both this year and next year, mm -hmm. but the price has come down. And one of the reasons for that is the overall market uh, pullback. So, so this stock has gotten a lot cheaper, but the earnings estimates are still staying, staying solid. And given you know, the company's focus here in North America, and you know the fact that the housing market's improving, you know, for fireplaces and corporations are still um, at record profitability. It could be a decent buying opportunity on the pullback here. Um, in addition to that, they pay dividend that yields 2.3 percent. I saw that's, that. That's more than you would get on a 10-year Treasury note right now. It's actually above the average of the S&P 500 as well. And if you look over the last 10 years, the company has increased that dividend at a 6 percent compound annual growth rate. Yeah. So very shareholder friendly in that regard. And all that at a fairly reasonable price. They trade about 15 times forward earnings. Historically, they've been about 18 times. And if you look at some of its competitors in the space, really the space isn't that bad. Um, so KNL is another one with its axe rank of two, um, has a decent dividend yield trading at a reasonable price. Mm -hmm. But I think H&I uh, at this point offers that, that nice blend of positive earnings momentum, solid earnings growth potential, and then that good, that good dividend yield all at a reasonable price. So could be solid total return potential in this name continuing for, for the next you know, six to 12 months. All right, well, who knows? Maybe make another return appearance here somewhere Maybe down the so. road. Maybe yeah. so. Do you own it? I do not. All right, check out other stock information on our website, zax.com. Link to it all off the homepage if you're not there already. And if you're watching these videos here that we do on YouTube's platform in particular there, a reminder, you can subscribe to them and you can comment on them. With Todd, I'm Terry Ruffalo.